see on the left here is uh, the Rose Kennedy Greenway, Rose Kennedy. So this Greenway is named after her. And underneath us are eight lanes of traffic, right underneath us in the tunnel. So they took down the overhead expressway, replaced it with the tunnels, and so the Greenway was named about 10 years ago. Years after the Puritans came here, and Boston is the first English city in North America. In 1630, Boston was founded. Maybe there's something going on. Yeah, there's a piece of this team just got thrown in. There it is. See, the, there they are. The rebel, rebels are taking it out. We're looking at the house here, the brick house, right around the corner, over 300 years old. What are we looking at right now? Whose house? Right there. Whose house is it? No, that's not it's the house. Over oh, there. Oh, sure. Trail. And that's the Freedom Trail. Freedom Trail. Move. So it's about two and a half miles long. <laughs> two and a half. What? So we're looking at the Freedom Trail. It paint. Then 20 years ago, the mayor took two and a half paint. years to break up the two and a half miles. So it starts the Boston Common and end up over at the USS Constitution, which is the oldest commissioned ship afloat. Oh so there are 16 sites on the trail, and we're going to see three of them. Uh, but uh, this one here, Paul Revere's house, the oldest house in Boston, and that is 1680. So let's go on the front. This is the Freedom Trail. It is two and a half miles long. <laughs> <laughs> And so uh, this is granite, they call these uh, cobblestones. So all the streets under the asphalt are still have the cobblestones and they just left this here just to remind us of how difficult it was to get around by land. Right, with the rubber tire in the 20s, it was a revelation, right? Everybody, no more wagon wheels, right? You had rubber tires and people love to travel. And that's why the car, of course, built Detroit and the uh, car was king, right? Everyone loved traveling around by land in a very convenient way, and that's what the car did. So uh, my hat's off to Detroit. All right, let's head around. You're fine. We want it coinciding with his ride. So, closest Monday, April 19th, is Marathon Monday. So, it reminds us of the Greeks who uh, defeated the Persians at Marathon, and then the Greek runner running from Marathon to Athens. He said to his friend, if the British march by land and sea from the town tonight, hang a lantern aloft in the belfry arch of the North Church Tower as a signal light. One is by land, two is by sea. And I, Paul Revere, on the opposite shore shall be ready to ride, spread the alarm to every Middlesex village and farm, and for the country folk to be up and to arm. And they were armed, and 77 Minutemen took on the greatest army in the world, uh, the British Army, and the beginning of the American Revolution. All right? And during the uh, so let's move on this way, and we're going to go to church and get a short lecture by the dose.
Mars is not like healthy. Did you make a good wish? I didn't make it. All right. Why did my broken shoes on the camera? Oh no, what happened? My Santa broke. Oh, so you're walking barefoot. Bad. Who missed? Who missed that bad? So we're going to go right in, Richard, as soon as I get all my people together. And what do you think of Boston so far? It's good, I like it. It's kind of hot though, huh? Yeah. Love it, it's great. Yeah? Kind of hot, but what do you think of Boston? It's nice, I like it. It's the nicest city more than Lansing, I like it more than Lansing. <laughs> What do you guys think of Boston? It's hot right now, but it's fun. I like the city. It's pretty, isn't it? So we're still following the Freedom Trail. We're near the harbor. And we're they say here, Haba. And everybody's a little hot. It's about 90 something degrees out and very humid. And on the left is the oldest botanical garden in the United States, the Boston Public Garden. On the left. And this is the back bay. This is all filled in land. We're in Capley Square.
Lake itself during the race. They put those here? So this is to remind them to pace themselves during the race. The groove in the, the building fable of the tortoise stops the building from the swaying. It's 2,500 years old. It deflects the wind onto the square. And that breeze you feel here is coming from the building. And there's one on the other side. So in the winter, someone is here on a skateboard and he has a sail. A sail. He sails around the square. <laughs> <laughs> the statue is, uh, the square is named after this man, John Singleton Copley. He was a portrait painter of the revolutionary leader. So here's the Marathon Memorial, right over here. The first running was 1897, first running of the marathon. And here it is. So uh, here are the winners now. Uh, 20 years. So here's the route, and only a small part of the marathon goes through Boston. Right here. This is it. That's it. That's the only part that goes through uh, Boston. The rest of it are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven other towns. of the Boston Marathon bombers. Three were killed here, but there is a fourth cross, Sean Collier. He was a police officer at MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and uh, four days after the bombing, uh, he was executed by uh, the two brothers. And so he's the fourth victim. Uh, knew that when he dropped his backpack that Martin Richards, seven years old, wearing his Patriots jersey, was right next to it. So what a time for them to drop, you know, to stop, to do this. People would go to the reenactments out in Lexington and Concord, then come here and be attacked. And so these are the four victims here. Uh, Ling Xin Lang was a, an exchange student from China, and uh, she was going to Boston University, 21 years old. And then, uh, again, Martin Richards, his sister lost her eye. Mother uh, was severely uh, injured.
are good for you. They give you energy. Fiber is good for your diet because you get the food. So, you know, there's many benefits of granola. Did you have granola for breakfast? Yes, I did. It's my <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so delicious. <laughs> Where are we at? Um, I'm not sure. Boston Public Library. Oh, this is a library? This is a library. Pretty, huh? That's so cool. Hidden courtyard. I would love to like sit and read a book here. Like, that's perfect. They have free Wi-Fi and everything here. Could this be called a study abroad? Uh, study away. <laughs> Boston Public Library. Yeah, it is the coolest building. I love the architecture And this was built in 1896. This is the first lending library in the United States. The concept of the public library started here. And it's the most beautiful of public libraries. In Milan, Italy. And all of the marble is from Siena in Italy. And they don't export that marble anymore. Public library may just be the best and the most beautiful.